I wanted to demonstrate what poise mean using my favorite movies of all times, the Godfather series. Poise means staying calm and balanced mentally and physically under pressure. It's not an easy feat to achieve. Michael Corleone in the Godfather movie, the Michael Corleone character shows poise. Here's an example of that from the beginning of the first Godfather, where he was at the hospital where his uh, father was shot and he was hospitalized. And uh, the uh, syndicates were after his father to try to uh, shoot him again. Here he is unarmed with a friend outside the hospital. And this is how we can see poise in Michael Corleone's character. The one prerequisite for poise is no fear. You will see lots of uh, literature out there that talks about poise. The reality, if you go to the essence of it, poise is based on having no fear. Let's see how no fear appears in this scene when Michael Corleone is talking to his brother-in-law after he found out that he was a traitor and he caused the death of Michael's brother. Father to your son, Carl. Now, uh, in this uh, scene, it's uh, restraining anger that shows us and demonstrates poise. There is a relationship between anger and fear. We said poise is, uh, the prerequisite for poise is having no fear. Now, remember that anger is a manifestation of fear. People who are uh, afraid, they show anger. So, um, a Michael Corleone character showed us how to restrain anger. Here's a more difficult uh, scenario in uh, play. Uh, why do you think this is more difficult? Let's take a look together. Now, the price for the license is less than $20,000, am I right? That's right. Now, why would I ever consider paying more than that? Because I intend to squeeze. I don't like your kind of people. 
I don't like to see you come out to this clean country in oily hair, dressed up in those silk suits, and trying to pass yourselves off as decent Americans. I'll do business with you, but the fact is that I despise your masquerade, the dishonest way you pose yourself, yourself and your whole fucking family. Now, this is a more tough situation because he is dealing with a power figure, a senator. And uh, it is more difficult because he had to practice both um, restrain fear, practicing no fear, and also practicing no anger because both could have happened during this situation. Now, poise requires existence of three main elements. For someone to be poised, they need self-confidence, mental self-control, and presence. Let's see which of these do you believe Michael shows in this scene. Who had Frank Pantangeli killed? The Rosano brothers. I know. But who gave the go-ahead? I know I didn't. There was this kid I grew up with. He was younger than me. Sort of looked up to me, you know. We did our first work together. Worked our way out of the street. Things were good. We made the most of it. You're in prohibition. We ran molasses into Canada. Made a fortune. Your father, too. As much as anyone... I loved him and trusted him. Later on, he had an idea to build a city out of a desert stopover for GIs on the way to the West Coast. That kid's name was Mo Green, and the city he invented was Las Vegas. This was a great man. Man of vision and guts, and there isn't even a plaque or a signpost or a statue of him in that town. Someone put a bullet through his eye. No one knows who gave the order. When I heard it, wasn't angry. I knew Mo, I knew he was headstrong, talking loud, saying stupid things. So when he turned up dead, I let it go. And I said to myself, this is the business we've chosen. I didn't ask who gave the order because it had nothing to do with business. Two million. In a bag in your room. I'm going in to take a nap. When I wake, if the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. If it isn't, I'll know I don't.
I believe Michael showed the three. He was very self-confident. He had mental self-control in the situation, and he definitely has the presence. Now, please remember that poise is not honesty. It's not integrity. It's not truthfulness. So even the most cunning people can come across as poised if they have no fear. And as I said, if they have good self-confidence, good self-mental control, and they have good presence. So be careful about misunderstanding what poise is. Your poise shows in your body language, tone of voice, and in your words. Notice how the older Don Corleone uses that in this scene, how the, his character uses that in this scene. What does all this have to do with me? What is going on behind your back saying f Corleone all the time? That's it. That's one thing it has to do with you, right? Say it to his face. One time. Say it to his face. One time. Joey. If there's some guy running around the city, say, what do we do with a piece of piece of oh. Yes, it's true. So uh, here he uses his body language, gets, he gets closer, notice the tone of voice, and notice the words that he used to make a clear point. Now, remember that we're talking about poise here. Nobody can be poised 100% of the time. It is a state of mind, and it can be lost. So we all have limits. Some have higher limits than others. So we need to practice to build poise. So even Michael uh, Corleone character lost poise a few times. Let's take a look. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No! Kate. This is an amazing scene uh, to me. It shows the uh, narcissistic uh, Michael Corleone character played very well by Al Pacino, but that's not the subject we want to talk about. But it's so clear that Michael's character lost it here, but I think it was set up. Michael wanted to lose it to actually play some fear tactics against uh, his wife, Kay. Remember, Michael is a manipulator, but again, we will talk about that later. In this scene also, he uh, really lost it though. He was tired and he lost it. When people are tired, not expecting something, usually it's easier to lose poise and it's harder to keep poise. Let's take a look at this scene, which is very interesting. Kay had a miscarriage, she lost the baby. So uh, this is definitely him losing it. Uh, now, uh, uh, this one is interesting also because it's a calculated setup by a narcissist, but at the same time, he still lost it at the end. Let's take a look. Very interesting. Uh, 
I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. So he found out his uh, brother uh, betrayed him. And now for narcissistic personality disorder, people with that kind of uh, disorder, they create tight, closed circles around them of people they trust and they consider these people worthy. But when they get betrayed by these people, their revenge is usually ruthless. But we will talk about that in a future video. Thank you for watching.